Hi, welcome to 5 Minutes of Culture with Carolina. Today I'll be talking to you about the art of dancing in Tunisia. Before we learn about dancing in Tunisia, let's find out where Tunisia is located. Tunisia is the northernmost country in Africa and lies right in between Libya and Algeria. Now let's talk about where dancing normally occurs. Dancing normally occurs at weddings, festivals, circumcisions, concerts, and football games, or as we call them, soccer. As you see in this photo, the woman is wearing a clay pot full of water on her head. She is wearing this pot because she is performing a traditional folklore dance. The folklore dance was made when ladies had to go down to the river to get the water. They would oftentimes perform dances and make up fun dances to make the time go by quicker and to have more fun with it. Oftentimes during this dance, the women will wear a malyaya. A malyaya is several meters of fabric wrapped around the body in a specific way to form a dress. It is collapsed at the shoulders, usually with decorative jewelry, and held in place at the hips with a sash. Dancers in Tunisia normally wear a kamizia, which is a long white blouse, with a milia over it. A milia is a long rectangular wrap. Now let's talk about how to do the traditional Tunisian dance. Mostly the dance is the movement of the pelvis on a rhythm. The movement is highlighted by the elevation of the arms to horizontal, and the feet are moving in a rhythm, transferring their weight from right to left. Now let's take a look at some traditional Tunisian dancing. As you can tell by watching that video, Tunisian dancing is a ton of different cultures brought together. These cultures include such as Phoenicians, Romans, Vandals, Byzantines, Arabs, Turks, Spaniards, and French. I mean, it's pretty cool to watch Tunisian dancing, but it's even cooler to know how to Tunisian dance. I'm going to be teaching you my step-by-step -step guide on how to do the traditional Tunisian dance. This is my poster to show five easy steps that will teach you how to do easy, basic Tunisian dancing. Step one, stand on releve or tiptoes and shift your weight from your right foot to your left foot. Step two, keep going with step one, but now put your arms out. Step three, keep doing what you're doing at step two, but now start shaking your hips from left to right. Step four, now as we continue to build into the dance, we're going to continue all the movements we learned so far, but now we're going to rotate in a circle fashion. As we continue to build this exciting dance, we're going to add the final step. The final step is to keep doing what you've been doing in steps one through four, but now just add your arms in moving. Just move your arms all around. And now that you have learned all five steps of the dance, now let's put it all together. This is what it might look like. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me learning about the uniqueness and the beauty of Tunisian dance. Today we learned that Tunisia is the northernmost country in Africa. As part of the Tunisian culture, dance is enjoyed at weddings, festivals, and football games. Many cultures have been incorporated into the Tunisian flair for dance, including Arabs, Turks, Spaniards, and French. I showed you the traditional Tunisian dance and talked about the folklore dance. I particularly like the elaborate dress. Lastly, I had some fun showing you guys the Tunisian dance moves. I hope you did too. Thank you for your attention.